Casey, is it game time? It's game time. Let's do this. Let's get this shit cracking then, baby. Yes, sir. Round two, baby. Welcome to Hoodstocks on a Sunday early evening. Got a good week coming up. Got a lot of festivities, family shit, right? Hell Something yeah. they call Thanksgiving. You know? Goonies, I love you motherfuckers. Like, subscribe, all that good shit. You know what to do. Yeah. Let's go. Y'all just start busting. Last one I body talking to me started cussing. Cold thing about it, that little nigga was my cousin. Nigga, anyone can get it. I promise you, it ain't nothing. I promise you, it ain't shit, dog. Please don't get me pissed off. Moving like a puppy, don't be barking like a big dog. Everybody running, pussy niggas getting picked off. It's the fourth quarter, I've been thugging since the kickoff. Shoot for the stars, so if I fall, I land on the moon and hang out in the dark till high noon. My bitch pussy wet water park like typhoon. And I swear, don't nobody go hard like my girl. Boss like Typhoon, got them digging in the oil well To prove wrong the people that didn't know you well Put on all the niggas that was with you way before you fell And stood with you when you hit rock bottom And if my niggas ever need me, I got them And to all my ex bitches, you are not my problem Spit bars hard non-stop, no problem Set up shop, slang rock, so come cop them You cannot see or be me, I'm too awesome He going too hard, somebody please come stop him Get off me, harder than your whole damn posse she a thought giving hot sloppy toppy And I'm a dog clap clapping a jalopy probably Can't stop me mommy Cock block me Tommy Rug rats in my mix I'm just trying to get a fix All these diamonds in my wrist Got me shining like a bitch And this drip on my fit Got me shining like a bitch And I get paid for my stitch If it don't make dollars Then it doesn't make no sense you know I'm leaning off the sip Tell your bitch when you get home Don't wipe that semen off her lip Every time I see the bitch we bone She plotting and steaming on the dick Fuck her with that nine millimeter cone Cause it's the season of the sick hey, <laughs> That's what I'm talking about baby boy okay. Shit Hey you know what dog It's about time dog It's, a, it's about time somebody does something with that dog Motherfuckers be playing too much dog We drop them eight hey, How many cats how many cats, bro, we have on here that spit and we drop them that cold ass beat and it's really up to you if you want to fuck with it, dog. Yeah, I didn't even know. I mean, I, was I supposed to sit right here and stay quiet or, like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, you, I heard the beat. I just, I'm going to I'm sorry, I'm a flow, you know what I mean? That's how you start this bitch off. Don't play with it, dog. Let's pay some bills real quick, my G, and then we'll get back right to that. Uh, looking for some good quality cannabis, I mean. Killer. Quality cannabis. Mm. Hip the folks at Killer Kush. They specialize in bringing you the best quality cannabis available from OG to exotic. They got it all, baby. Hit them up at Killer Cali. <laughs> Killer Kush Cali at gmail.com or on IG at Killer Kush underscore underscore 420. And matter of fact, I got a location for you right here, baby. If you're in the OC or LA area, uh, pull up on them in the city of Heart of Whittier. True Organics. True Organics. Uh, they are located at 13739 Leffingwell Road, Whittier, California, Unit F. All right. For all you fat fuckers out there trying to lose major weight or even you IG models, strippers trying to lose. Who's at least a... <laughs> was that heavy breeding? <laughs> that, was his, that was his penis pump. Who was that, bro? Was that you? <laughs> All right, K-9. I thought, yeah, I thought that was his pe He's selling penis pumps now, bro. That's his new hustle, bro. It's weird, bro. There you go. It's going to hit. Yeah, it's going to hit something. Yeah, for sure. Um... <laughs> Let Lucky get through one ad. Jesus Christ. Hit up my boy Vince at LA Peptides. They got everything you need to lose weight and feel great. They have Ozempic, Moon, Jaro, and even newer and better. Uh, they also have tanning peptides as well as horny tides for men and women. Capture that old school sex drive, baby. Feel free. Uh, free deliver in LA, OC, and IE. Matter of fact, don't play with it. Let me just give you his phone call. And uh, excuse me. This is everything they talking about on YouTube, right? All these, all these uh, celebrities, celebrities, influencers. Yeah, they're losing quick politicians. Weight. 
This is what they're doing. They're using the fucking uh, the insulin, the 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 pin shots, the fucking uh, uh, Ozempic. Yeah, the diabetes, the shit they use for diabetes. They're losing major weight and quick, and it's getting uh, approved by the F- FDA. Approved for them to uh, be able to do it like this. Hey, oh, here's his number: 714-269-1900. 714-269-1900, motherfuckers. Tell them, hey, say, say hey, Vince, uh, Lucky gave me your number, and I am fat, and I want to lose some fucking weight. <laughs> Yes, and you can follow him on, that, on IG at LA Peptides. Okay, big shout out to Stizzy. Pull up to your local Stizzy shop in your area and cop some of that good, good, baby. Yes, sir. You can also follow them on Instagram at Stizzy Nation. All right, Pete Game. Look, at, we were just talking about this motherfucker. Doug Sherrod, looking for the best criminal attorney in the city of Los Angeles. Look no further. Doug Sherrod is our guy, and he can be your guy as well. Mr. Sherrod used to be a federal prosecutor as well as a district attorney uh, for the city of Los Angeles. He didn't like the unfair politics on that side of the fence, so now he's going to bat for individuals that have been wrongfully accused or just had a bad fucking weekend, right? Uh, you can reach Doug Sherrod at King Kong. King Kong.com. <laughs> King Kong. Lawyer. King, one day you're going to figure out how to pick your pockets, my I'll G. Pay, King pay. Kong Lawyer. Lawyer. Com. King Kong Lawyer. Lawyer. Com. Thank you very much. Good. Orange County, stand the fuck up. Gutter Phenom is a lifestyle brand that's dedicated to supporting and inspiring individuals who are determined to achieve their dreams. We believe that no matter where you're from and what you've been through with hard work and dedication, anything is possible. A portion of our proceeds are donated to organizations that provide vocational training for proleys and scholarships for those in need in drug and alcohol treatment. Jesus. Yes. Jesus, man, these guys do it all. Visit gutterphenom.com. Casey? Gutterphenom.com. K9. Gutterphenom.com. <laughs> there you go, K9. Okay, uh, and use exclusive code uh, Hoodstocks20 20, Hoodstocks20 20 to receive 20% off your order today. All right, guys. You guys ready for this one? I mean, this is I think this is a highly anticipated uh, uh podcast, bro. An interview. Um, and uh it, at least it is for me because I, I reached out to this dude a while back. And um, it fell on deaf ears because I believe I was on the wrong Instagram and reconnected. And here we are right now. Uh, yeah, I got S- some imposters making fake Instagrams and shit. Yeah, I think I was on the wrong one. SGV, stand the fuck up. Out of Point the California, everybody give it up for Mr. Oh. Rowdy Rex. Let's go, baby. You heard what he said, 626, stand up. K9. <laughs> K9, get your shit together, yeah. god damn it. My bad. See what happens, bro, when you give the fucking janitor a mic? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fuck with you, dog. Yeah, he found us outside, dude. I was gardening and he was a janitor. Yeah. Yeah, which is what we do here. I tend to uh, make people like one. nervous when I come around. What's that? I tend to make people nervous when I come around. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a line from a movie, dog. You you got you got that you got a unique voice, brother. You know what I mean? Like you got a real unique voice and uh I like say that one more time. I tend to make people nervous when I come around. Yeah, sound like a line from a movie, bro. Uh, yeah. Um, how you doing, brother? I'm all right. I'm I'm feeling good. How you feeling? I'm good, doggy. We've had a we've had an amazing day. You know what, bro? It's been a, it's been. I'm very blessed on so many different levels, man, and um, just thankful, man. Just really thankful, and I'm I'm really looking forward to these holidays too. Yeah, so am I. I'm I haven't uh, haven't been home for many of them, so. It feels good to be home for for some, you know what I mean? I'm looking forward to to, uh, to these holidays as well. What do you have for, for a plan for Thanksgiving? Shit, everybody come, because we just moved into a new pad, so my whole family's all coming to my pad, so it's like, we got like 50-something people coming to the pad for Jeez. Thanksgiving, yeah. Hell. Damn, bro. That's just going to be crazy. How many but turkeys How many turkeys going to have on the table for that? Like three or four. Three or four, for sure, yeah. for sure. Who does all that cooking, bro? That's a lot of cooking, dog. There's a lot of women in the family. Yeah. Everybody's bringing something, you know what I mean? Like a potluck potluck Thanksgiving. That shit's going to be dope. That shit's hard, bro. Is there anybody in your family, bro, that sometimes, like, everybody knows and they don't really speak too much about it, but they know not to eat their food? Hell no. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, so everybody cooks good? Everybody cooks bomb. As a matter of fact, you want to be like, I only want to eat a little bit because I want to eat some of everybody's food, you know what I mean? (sighs) Everybody cooks bombs. Love, baby. They want to eat all day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's smart, too, bro, because you know what? I, there's there's some uh, family functions that I invited to that I'm familiar with the family functions, and I'm familiar what these women bring to the table. Yeah. Right? And um, and sometimes I, I, I will, I'll go there on an empty stomach, and I will just put small portions, bro, because it's, just so, it's a huge spread. 
yeah, you know, for real. and I just want to try a little uh, something, everything. And I'm the, I'm a I'm the type of dude that be like, who made this? Yeah. I swear to God, I'll be like, who made this right here? And oh, yeah, and, 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 and women, women, bro, women are, are they'll be like, I made that yep. shit, you Hell know? Yeah. Tell me about that, Hell and and yeah. I give them their props and they and you big them up on that. Yeah, that's they, just that's they just, appreciate that shit. Like, I made that. Why? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, one thousand percent. Well, that's amazing, bro. That sounds that sounds fucking. Shit, I think I'm going to your house for this. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, showing, I'm gonna yeah, show yeah. off with all 15 of my kids, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I'm yeah. just fucking with you. Um, that's dope, bro. I, yeah, I'm. I'm looking for. I, you know what? Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday, and I look at Thanksgiving for just a time to be off from work and spend time with the family, bro. You know, and have a good spread. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Thanksgiving is definitely one of my favorites too. I fuck with the food. That's why, you know, yeah. I'm a foodie. Yeah. Hell yeah, I love food. Especially if you've been eating them Thanksgivings in prison. Yeah. That's you know just food, dog. It could be, I don't know. I mean, but, you know, you got to work with When you're guys. in there, it's yeah. like, oh, it's yeah. bomb. Yeah. You know, but it's when you're in pumpkin pie. But fire. When you're in there, it's bomb, you know, but when you're out here, it's like, damn, that shit nasty, you know? But we be making some bomb ass shit. Yeah. Making something out of nothing. Hell yeah. Shit. You know? Throw that little something you got on the chow hall and a motherfucking noodle, homie. Yeah. Bop up. Hey, have you Fuck the tried that deep, that deep fried turkey? I want to try that. I, no, I, I heard it's bomb. That's man. what I heard. I heard that shit's yeah. bomb. I want to try that shit, yeah. too. You know what, bro? Making a deep fried turkey is, you know what? <laughs> have you yeah. seen those videos? Yeah. You can't put it in frozen, bro. This yeah. shit will explode on you, dog. What? Yeah. You put a frozen, you put a frozen turkey, brother, in a... A boiling pot of oil, oil that shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. You go on YouTube. I mean, I'm gonna learn that shit the hard way. That's a couple motherfuckers with a face melted off. What the? Because they're trying to hook up their family up. Because everyone said, "Motherfucker, you can't cook." Yeah. And they said, "Watch this," and burned his face off, dog. Hey, people even drop that shit with a rope now. They have it tied to a rope and they slowly. And also those last, those last, it those down. last minute fools that buy the turkey last minute and try to throw that shit in there and shit. Yeah. Fuck, I wanna see that shit happen. We need to search that video. Yeah, we'll find I, it. I wanna see that shit happen. Boom. I use a I use a pair of my ladies fucking big ass tantarans, dog. The big old ones that when she's on the rag, bro, and I tie the turkey to it, bro. Uh, them motherfuckers stretch that shit got at least about a six foot fucking stretch on those fucking <laughs> chonies, dog. My hand is big, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she like two fifty, dog. <laughs> she like a Steelers motherfucking linebacker, homie. Hey. Hats off to you, my man. You're yeah, a soldier. <laughs> hey, bro. Literally taking one for the whole car lot, bro. Not for the team, the car? <laughs> the car lot, bro. Uh, no, I'm just fucking with you. Um, stupid. Holidays is great, bro. I love holidays, dog. I can. I feel like I can do a whole podcast talking about holidays. I mean, how come nobody's ever done that, bro? You know? There's probably some good holiday stories. A lot of ho yeah. I mean, how is your family? Uh, is it a? Uh, uh, do you guys just have like a chill out, chop it up, listen to some music, or drink some, get wild? Like, how's your family? What's the temperament uh, of your family? Well, uh, this holiday, what I'm talking about is my mom's side of the family. So my mom's side of the family, they're all like, they're like good people. Like you know what I mean? They're really good people. All Catholic and they're real cool. You know, we we we'll drink a bit. But most of the time, we're just get together and just, you know, talk, laugh, tell stories. You know what I mean? We'll play darts, pool, or, you know. My dad's side of the family, they get together, it's just, they're getting fucked up. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, most of, it's mostly just chill, you know? That's dope, bro. Chill, chill, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's dope, bro, to have just a, just to have those family moments, bro, when everything's chill. Have you, uh, so is your, your, let's get into your story, brother. You know, speaking about so obviously your mo your mom and your pops are separated. Yeah. Your mom and your pops are separated. So, have they been separated since you were uh, all your life? I mean, most pretty of your much, life. Pretty much. Pretty uh, much. I was about eight when they separated, which needed to happen. You know, they needed to separate. Like they were really, really bad. You know what I mean? When is the point of when they need to separate? It's when there's physical abuse involved. Yeah, like when they're trying to kill each other. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Eight year old knows that they need to. Separate them. Yeah, yeah. They need to separate. But have you ever, no, check it out though, bro. Have you ever tried to kill your old lady and then had sex afterwards, bro? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the best sex you ever have, bro. Uh, yeah. After you try to kill a bitch, homie. You love her. You, you, I love you so much after, like, you know, I, I was just trying to kill you. 
and I'm happy that I didn't because I fucking love you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Me and my girl go through that. We don't ever try to kill each other, but we have some heated arguments. But now my kids are at an age where they're just like they're the mediators now. They're like, hold on, hold on. Like, yeah, you go over there. You go over there. And they'll be trying to like, you know, talk shit down, like talk you off the ledge. Put the gun down, Dad. You know. <laughs> that's cool. Um, yeah, that's how my kids are now, bro. They're that's fucking. Right. I don't. I don't know if that's like if we're teaching them something good, bro, or if I'm fucking their life up, dog. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, you know, we don't argue a lot. But when we do, you know, they, it's, they get involved now. Anyways, um, so so you were you said you were eight years old when you noticed that? Yeah. No, I was eight years old when shit. I noticed it. Way before that, you know, it was already years of, of yeah. this shit going on, you know, and uh, it was really my mom trying to kill my dad, but fucking, that's besides the point, but <laughs> I was eight years old when that it actually, they actually split up, you know, and we went to move, we, me and my brother and sister moved in with my grandma, you know, then we were raised from that point on by my grandma, you know what I mean? My mom and dad, they were, they hadn't had their life together, you know, my mom was, Hustling and shit. My dad was in and out of prison, so grandma stepped in, you know, stepped up to the plate. Yeah. Grandma's man. My my grandma. I live with the grandma. My grandma a lot of times. She raised some a lot of my cut co my cousins, but grandma's man. <laughs> grandma's grandmas and my grandpas, grandma's man. Shit. Ain't nothing like grandma love, bro. Like my, my grandma raised. I fucking love my grandma. So did she really? Did she like? teach you what you know to this day or did you still have influence from your mom and your pops no, no my mom taught me what i know you know my mom taught me what i know my grandma loved and supported me and you know unconditionally yeah she loved and supported me and pretty much raised me you know but my mom schooled me you know straight up and was in in, in regards to schooling is it is it a, a street type of schooling or is it just like life uh tools you can take on with you in life both. 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 That's dope. Both, definitely. So mom's a little rough around the edges then, huh? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, my mom's a fool. She a gangster? Yeah, but she she's cool now, you know, like she's settled down a lot now, but yeah, mom's a fool. That's good, brother. And your pops, how, how would you, how would you, uh, how would you explain your pops? My pops is a G. <laughs> Straight up, my pops is highly respected in the hood and he's a G. Yeah, the homie, the couple of homies from Point they reached out to me and they were homeboys with your pops. Yeah. 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 He's, yeah. he's, he's a G. Yeah. I, and I don't even know if you, they know, if you guys know each other, but they know your pops and probably that's how they know you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Who? Um, <laughs> uh, Alexa, homie. Jesse. Jesse? Jesse, yeah. What do they call Jesse from, uh, I'm pointing. Jesse. Um, What's Jesse's name? Anyways, he might be watching it right my now. Dad's homie. You know, that's what he said. Yeah. Yeah, he said he said you you and your Jesse and your pops were homeboys growing up. Yeah. yeah. And I, that's all out of point there, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hell yeah. You grew up out there? Yeah. Yeah. How, how was it growing in point? How was it growing up in point there? Shit was tight. Shit, I loved it. I st I loved it. I did whatever the fuck I wanted around there. Like, What's the best area in SGV? <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. I mean, for sure you're not going to say another area. Um, another uh, part of it. Yeah. But not. I'm not just only talking about Puente. I'm saying, okay, the SGV is pretty big, right? But Yeah. But that little area, Puente, Baldwin Park, you know, even West Covina, even though it's like... Yeah. You know, Azusa, Almani, you know, Hacienda Heights, fuck that little section. Yeah. That shit's tight. That's home. Hell yeah. It seems yeah. small, but it's not, bro. Hell no. Nah, I've actually, I live like, on, on fucking, and on Willow and uh, with okay. the F around there. Yeah. So I know, like, it's I know how it is over there. Yeah. And so growing up, growing up with the pops is from the hood, moms, you know, was doing her thing and you're being raised with grandma. How was, how was it being raised up like that? You know, can you share the journey with you, with us on that? You know, okay, well, being raised by, by my grandma was like, cause my grandma didn't really discipline us like that. You know, she she'll, she'll thing. yell at us. Yeah. But she pretty much let us like, I did whatever the fuck yeah. I wanted. You know, I, I was 13, 14 years old. 
straight running the streets like sick you know what i mean when i come home they're just instead of being like oh where the fuck you been at and shit they're just like hi like well, you know like just happy to see me you know what i mean so it was like i come home oh hi you know where you been like oh my friends like okay you staying like yeah i'm just gonna come shower real quick and fucking you know back out in the streets you know but i had it made in the hood like i never i never needed nothing you know what i mean i didn't really trip on money because whatever i wanted i got you know it, people would just give it to me or i'll just pull up and just take it or like you know it's like i don't know i had it made in the hood like, in in my hood if you're from the hood you got everything coming bro like you're like what it's from the hood you know what i mean yeah when i see fools paying for shit or, or picking up sacks or something it's like wait like you're picking up a sack like fool, you're from the hood nigga like I, I ain't paying for shit fool you know yeah Got everything coming for you know. Yeah, that shit was tight, but but even all of my teachers and fucking everybody, they're like, I don't know. It's like instead of getting me in trouble, they'll do what they can to save me, you know, from getting like, oh, the fucking vice principal's coming. Like, what do you have? You know, are the security's on their way to come search you? Like, give me whatever you have, you know. <laughs> and I'll just give it to them, and then they'll give it to me after. Like, you know what I mean? Damn. Everybody loved me. So it's pretty tight. Why, why have you always, why have, have you ever asked yourself why you've attracted this, that type of love? Um, nah, I just thought it was normal, you know, but it ain't, you know. It's not, not normal. Yeah, not everybody had that treatment, you know, but I'm very respectful to, to everybody, you know what I mean? I don't disrespect the teachers or none of that type of shit, you know, I'll talk to them and, and you know, like, ask them how they're, ask them how their day's doing, you know, and, and I think they just, because of, I've always been in advanced placement classes, you know. Okay. I was always smart, had straight A's, you know what I mean? So even though I'm dressing banged out and fucking having illegal shit on me all the time, it's like I pass all their tests. I understand what they're teaching, you know what I mean? For a teacher, when a student understands what they're teaching, you know, they're like, they feel like uh, satisfied, you know, it makes them feel like they're doing their job. Exactly. They see, they see potential in you, and plus they see that you're. Your grandma and your mom raised you right. Yeah, you know. Well, so they're, they're seeing that they, they're he's picking up what they're putting down, exactly. opposed to some other cats, bro, that look like him, bro, and it's just like going yeah, in one ear and out the other, and, bro. Yeah, and they're pretty much like fuck what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that's that's probably why you stood out the bunch and you got that special treatment because they seen you, and yeah, you just stood out. You know? Yeah. And and so obviously it, you've been a you've been advanced with some, you know, some good genes maybe as mom and pops uh, as well carry this uh this uh maybe uh book smartness. Yeah, my mom's real smart. My mom's very smart, you know, but and they're both uh they're both like I said, they taught us to be respectful, you know, to respect our elders, you know what I mean? They're like respect the adults in the room, like, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of other kids they'd have no respect. You know what I mean? They had no respect for for the adults, like, you know what I'm saying? They feel like if they're an adult, like, you're not. You know what I mean? You got to respect the adults around if you're a kid. You know what I mean? That's what I was taught, at least. I was taught like that, too. Uh, even though we're from different eras, I guess it just all depends on who's raising the kids up or, you know, who's around them. Like, when I was young, young, my mom had taught me to always be like, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Yeah. You know? And I still do this to this day, and sometimes I say that to yes, sir, to say maybe a dude that's younger than me, but it's just, it's just me showing a, you know, a, a line of respect, so yeah, to speak. It, right? It it doesn't make me feel no less, you know what I mean, no less of a man to to give somebody else, you know, respect. You know what I mean? A lot of people feel like oh, like it makes them feel like a punk or something, or like I don't know what it makes them feel, but they feel like they have they can't do that. I ain't gonna fucking. You know, respect that person. Like, are are they feel like they have to disrespect the teachers in order to be fucking hard or something? Like, you know what I mean? Like, nah, that shit, that shit don't make you hard. That's, that's out, that yeah. shit just makes you stupid, huh? Yeah. You know what I mean? It does make you stupid, bro. But then again, you know, it's probably just because he is stupid or that individual is stupid. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been that individual, Pretty bro. Much though, bro. No, yeah, I've been, I've been a stupid motherfucker a lot of my life, bro. Yeah, that shit does not make you hard. That shit does not make you down. It, it, that shit ain't doing nothing for you. You know what I mean? Because you're getting at the wrong people wrong, bro. Exactly. Like, you know? What was your favorite subject in school? I like math and I like uh, social studies and history. I like history. Math is my weakest subject. 
I fuck with math. I like math. Are you are you just naturally uh, inclined with numbers? Like you see numbers, you figure them out, or you pick them? Like you said, you pick shit up easy yeah. at school. I like to learn it. You know, like I like to like you know, like a formula. Boom! This is the formula for this. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that shit will work every time because that's the formula. You yeah. know what I mean? I like that shit. And it's and and if you can understand that and apply that to life. You know, it can possibly help you out. I mean, math is very, I mean, people that are good with math, I believe they might uh, excel a little quicker than others because they understand calculations and moving is cal being calculated, so to speak. I don't know if yeah. I'm making this up on the fly or if it just sounds right in my head right now. I'm not even high. But um, <laughs> I just feel like, well, let me tell you this. So I I uh, went to a five year apprenticeship through IBW Local 11 for an electrician inside wireman right five years, and it's heavy on math trigonometry all kinds of fucking crazy ass uh, AC theory bro it's fucking wild bro and I got a I got a GED at 35 years old in prison right at the time, um, anyways I had to learn it bro so I learned it you know. And I learned it, and I retained it as long enough to pass the test. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Or you know, if I had to, like, I had a test coming this week, I learned it, pound it, pound it, pound it. And but now you put that in front of me, bro. And I, I could probably like eventually navigate it again, bro. But it's hard for me to retain that type of stuff. Is it yeah. easy for you to retain information? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Like okay, with well, my lyrics, like I know I got songs that I made in juvenile hall that I that I know word for all of my lyrics to all of my songs. I know them. I never write anything down. I never write nothing down. So like when I make a song, I make it bar by bar, right? And then after it's complete, I know it. Like it's just, I know the whole song. Like I don't write, I don't write, I have them written down. I don't write nothing down. I don't have no notebooks or nothing like that. So every single one of my tracks, I can rap for you right here without looking at my phone. Wow, or, that's, that's, an, that's an immaculate uh, memory. memory, retaining information. Have you ever done hard drugs? Hell yeah. Yeah? Hell yeah. Little crack, methamphetamine. <laughs> I've done anything in the book. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, shit, I like to blame the hard drugs on my memory. <laughs> 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 I guess we ain't made the same, huh? <laughs> you know? Yeah. That, um, but see, and that's another thing, I'm too, a little like, burned out, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, I know it. You. I feel you know, but I, I, that's another thing, too, that I, I point out to people, like, when they, do, when they do shit, certain shit, and then it's like, people be like, oh... It's because that food smoked out or, you know, it's because yeah. I'm like, nah, fuck that, homie. Because I do drugs on and off all the time, homie. And I don't fucking get down like that. You know yeah. what I mean? So there ain't, there ain't no excuse, homie. No excuses, huh? Yeah, for no yeah. behavior or none of that type of shit. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. So you, you started rapping in Juvenile Hall? Yeah. What was the first time you went? What'd you go to Juvenile Hall the first time for? For the first time, I, the first time I went to juvenile hall for was for uh, graffiti and burglary tools, and the, but I got out. I got out on house arrest. And the second time I went to juvenile hall was for a firearm, and the third time I went to juvenile hall was for another firearm. So, you started. That's when you started. You decided to start rapping. What kind of music did you grow up with? Or I'm um, answering okay, the question so first. I'm sorry. I grew up listening to rap. You know what I mean? Brother Lynch, Ice Cube, E Forty, Too Short. Uh, N.W.A., Tupac, The East Siders, you know what I mean? All, just rap, you know? But, okay, so how I started rapping was in Juvenile Hall. I used to, like I said, if I hear a song twice and I like it, I know I know the lyrics for word for word, you know what I mean? So I would rap songs, like, you know, the whole You remember song. all the songs? Yeah, so yeah. I, I would rap Brother Lynch Hung, and the, you know, or... Yeah. Anything, you know. And then, yeah, I mean, you're talking some old school shit, bro. Yeah. Are you? Are, are, are you? With. Are you in your early thirties, twenties? Where you at? I'm 28. 28. Prime time, baby. What about above the line? You fuck with that? Hell yeah. Oh yeah. So, well, but that makes sense though too because you know, bro, growing up in the hood, you're exposed to a lot more, especially his pops from the hood. You know, all the you know all his older homies and shit like that. They all bumping that gangster shit. So he Man, was probably a little young buck, bro. Just picking up. All yeah, they pay, they dropping all that shit on him, you know. So it makes sense. Yeah. So but okay. if somebody that doesn't grow up in the hood and doesn't have that, then it's like, well, hold on, you kind of young, bro. Foot, yeah. Yeah. Where you get that from, dog? Yeah. Nah, I, I just got it from you know my surroundings. But yeah. So like I said, I'm in juvenile hall and I'm rapping it, and all the homies, certain homies, like you know, they come up to me like, "Hey, fool, rap that song by Brother Lynch," you know. 
and I'll spit that shit, the whole shit, you know, from beginning to end. And oh, rap that two, uh, uh, you know, Tupac song, and I'll rap it. So then, you were the best selly to have I in that was, bitch. Huh? I'm like the jukebox. Yeah, you know? that's what I was gonna so, say. So then it's like one of the homies is like, actually it was my homie, my homie from my hood that I fuck with every day in the streets. We ended up in the same camp. You know, I pull up to the camp like. Mad dogging and I look. Well, at what camp? What camp was that? Mendenhall. Oh, I've been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I pull up. You know, when you first walk in with your bedroll, you're mad dogging everything. You know, yeah. and fucking up. Uh, I look around. I see my homeboy. He's like, "What's up?" I'm like, "What's up, nigga?" You know, he's like. Then, he starts hearing me rapping all these songs and shit. Then one day he tells me, "Hey, fool, how come you don't make your own song?" You know. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know, dick. Like, what the fuck? I'm fucking make my own song, fool. You know? He's like, Why not, dick? You know all these other fools' songs, you know. Yeah. So I'll make a song, fool. I'll make, I'll make it with you, you know? And we did, fool. And then uh, a couple of the homies liked it, so I made another one, you know? And then, uh, fuck it, I just, yeah, started making songs and shit. Yeah. Who's your favorite Chicano rap artist? I don't really like Chicano rap. <laughs> <laughs> not one? Nah, I... What about a little Psycho SPM, Realm? No. SPM, I, uh, no, not, not SPM, uh, uh, Slow Pain. Slow actually. Pain. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I yeah. used to listen to SPM, but I like Slow Pain. Yeah. Yeah. That fool's hard. Slow pain? Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that fool's hard. That fool could spit. How do you feel about homies that use the N-word a lot in their raps? Shit. I, to each his own. Yeah. You know I mean? And I know you do. Yeah. I know yeah, you do. I so do. it's kind of like a yeah, funky I, question to ask someone that uses yeah, it. No, but, you know, there's a lot of homies that, you know, check it out, bro. I ain't going to get it twist. Don't get it twisted, bro. I was using the N-word, bro, around 2009. All my little homies, bro, had me hadn't seen that shit. You know, exactly. Oh, I, bro, it, they were fucking little bastards, homie. I had they old ass homies? Because <laughs> I had nothing but all the little homies around me, and so shit. The little ghetto ass kids. Yeah. <laughs> and so they had me saying this, that, bop, 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 and then my homie villain, around the same age as me, he's like, "Hey, fool, what the fuck, dog? We weren't raised like that, dog." Bop, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. And I said, yeah, "You know what, dog?" Check you out real quick. No, he checked me, bro. Yeah. Straight up, he, you know, it's my homie, dog. It's my boy, dog. Yeah. Right? Respect, right? Yeah. And I said, "You know what, dog? You're right, bro. You're right." You know, I was not, I was with nothing. They were all at my bro. Was, like I, I was strictly them fig dog. Everybody was at my crib, bro. All them little bastards were at my crib. But anyways, I stopped saying it, dog. I stopped saying it, but I hear your music. And I was talking to Casey about that. Right. You know, and, and Casey's like, well, what did you say, Casey, about when well, we, Well, I said, sometimes it like, uh, makes rap sound more authentic to the source. Yeah. To the source. See the, like that's what I was gonna tell you when you said how do you feel about homies using the n-word if it's if it sounds natural if it sounds like obviously this fool says it you know yeah when he's not rapping he says it you know yeah what I mean? then all right cool you know but if you're just saying it just because you're rapping you could tell if it, if it doesn't sound authentic then it's like bro you're just you're faking it yeah. you know have I mean? you said that have you said that all your hood life? Hell yeah. Yeah. That's how me, at, oh, uh, I'm from Ballista Street, right? I'm from Puente. I'm from Ballista Street, Puente. All my homies talk like that. You yeah. Know? We, we call each other Grove. We call each other nigga. That's just like, we're, you know, we're ghetto. Like, you know what I mean? And, 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 no, like that. Yeah, yeah. No, but it's interesting because in Puente, there's no black fools there, huh? Hell nah. Hell nah. So how do you feel when you're around black fools and, and, and you're talking like that? Do you feel like maybe you're disrespecting or out of your place or you just feel like you, you got a pass to say it? I, I don't. I don't need a pass. Don't think about that. I'm a, okay. Look, I'm a surrender, my boy. I I say and do what the fuck I want to do. You know, it, if there's repercussions that come behind it, by all means, I I am a man. I you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I take whatever I got coming. You know, but when I when I'm talking to blacks or whatever, I'm not gonna change up or or, or yeah exactly. You, you know, shouldn't. I'm right? not gonna hold my tongue for nobody. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know I mean? Period. If, if you feel disrespected, that I don't need to talk to you, homie. There's I don't, there's not no, not one person in this world that I have to talk to, I have to be friends with, you know what I mean? If, if you ain't feeling me, then, then we don't even have to associate. You don't have to change the way you, you I won't yeah. change the way I am, you yeah. know what I mean? Look, okay, so like, say if I, if I jump out, I'm 14 years old, you know, if I jump out of a car, run from the hoodas, go stash my strap, you know, keep on running and I end up getting busted, you know, then I call my mom from jail and I say, hey mom, Go over here and fucking behind the here, behind the trash can, lift up this and, and there's something right there. I need you to go get it. You know what I mean? And she goes and gets it, recovers it for me and takes it. And then next time I call her, she's like, yeah, I got it. Don't trip it. You know, I'm like, that's 
hell yeah, mom, that's right, you my nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, so if I'm going to talk to my mother like that. Yeah, I hear it. I hear it, bro. I'm and, not, and I'm not here to throw shade on you or anything like that, bro, because it's, I look at it like this, bro. You know, and it's a good topic. And the only reason I brought it up, uh, I brought it up, is because it was in the comments. And I'm like, all right, oh, well, yeah, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let homie speak on it. You know what I mean? And um, the reason why I say, I say this, bro. L.A. is a melting pot, bro. Okay, L.A. including all Southern California, right? Period, right? Um, it's a melting pot, bro. And people are gonna say what they grow up on and what sounds cool and people get different things from each culture. These are the neighbors, these are people that, you know, it's the culture, being raised in hip hop and rap, you yeah. know, and, and everything else. I mean, I probably didn't explain that the way I wanted to explain that, but I'm just saying it's a melting pot and that says it for itself. You know, people get, you know, blacks get stuff from us, you know, and we get stuff from them and it just, it is what it is, you know? Yeah. And I ain't trying See, to, like, I ain't trying to change shit and tell motherfuckers what they can say and what they can't. Who the fuck yeah. do I think I am? There's you know a mean? lot of homies in my comments talking about, oh, you know, like, what you, why are you saying that? Like, you're trying to pretend like you're something that you're not or, or you know, you're uh, trying to talk like them or this, this, and that. I'm like, okay, so you're, you're accusing me of pretending, right? Pretending that I'm something that I'm not talking like something that I don't usually talk like, right? So what would you want me to say in my raps? You want me to say homie, essay, and vato? Like, if I were to do that, I would be pretending that I'm something that, oh, yeah. you know, if I were to do that, I would then be pretending, you know, or like faking it, you know, because that's not how I talk. I mean, you know what I mean? So like, okay. G whiz, I say, this nigga think he a shooter. You know, if I were to say, this vato think he a shooter, it would, dev it would sound... Corny. It would sound like like not authentic, homie, because that's not how I talk. Yeah, no, I get that. But I would say this though. I would say this. You can you can only speak for yourself on yourself, right? I can't speak for yourself. But I would say it sounds just as good the way you say no, it. No, yeah, I'm it not sounds, knocking it. It sounds just as good. And so you can rap, bro. Yeah. There's a lot of homies. They shouldn't be rapping, and they're fucking rapping, bro. Yeah. And just like you said with Chicano rap, I don't like Chicano rap either, bro. Yeah. I, you, me and my homies, motherfucker will come in with a CD of some Chicano rap shit. That motherfucker get garbage. flown like a yeah. motherfucking frisbee. With some pinky and, and, no, and, and, <laughs> let me tell you something. With some pink, what's hey, it? Let me tell you something. Don't get Chicano fucked up rap by her, bro. Me, hey, uh. Chicano rap, a lot of the Chicano rappers, they got a big fan base, and, and you know, they're booming. But let me tell you something. Their fan base consists of nothing but Chicanos. You know what I mean? You're not going to find a, a, a black driving down the street bumping Chicano rap ever. I guarantee that. Nah, you know they don't I mean? support it at all. Because and, they think, and, and they honestly, they think it's trash. Because it is trash. I mean, if you'd like it, by all means, I don't knock what you got, but it, you won't find me bumping that shit either because I, it's just like it. I don't know, dog. It doesn't have... That's not what we grew up on or that's not what church It's not, it, it doesn't on. ring to your... It's not like... It's not fucking. It doesn't fucking like. I it don't doesn't. Know. It doesn't fit in with what we grew up on, like with the Ice Cubes, the Snoop Dogs, and there's gonna be some hardcore Chicano rap fans in here. They're gonna talk their shit and go ahead, talk your shit, dog. That's all good. Everybody has their opinion, and it and they all count, bro. They all count, right? Yeah. But but growing up, what I grew, I grew up on the gangster shit. Exactly. I grew up on the gangster shit, right? And and I don't care. There's homies, old school homies that don't like, don't say the N-word, but when they rap in these songs, these old school homies since the early 90s, we were yeah, all saying yeah. the N-word rapping them songs. Exactly. But, the but, but it was kind of funny because, hey, no, peep game. It's funny that I think about this, bro. The homies growing up early 90s, bro, right? Hide of the gang bang, doing our thing on these streets. Bro, we saying every N-word and every Ice Cube song. Right, exactly. every Tupac song, Look, you know. We're growing up. Most of the thing that that they were but, rapping about, it, it went what we were doing, like RBL Posse above the law, yeah. and whatever the Chicano rap wasn't really going with what we were doing, bro. Like. I don't, I don't know why. Well, I don't hey, know why, but when hey, I right here, I feel like there's a bluebird on my shoulder. Hey, look, look, <laughs> let me say something real quick because in my hood, a lot of my, in the '90s, my hood it was a big old racial thing. You know, it, it, La Puente was. They didn't like to, blacks. There used to be blacks in La Puente. Oh, okay. And and there was a big old war going on, and, and that's why there's no more blacks in La Puente, you know. But so a lot of my older homies are like, what, like, you know, we don't talk like that in the like, you know, like you're from Puente, homie, like, you know what I mean? But it's like, look, dog, your generation is 
It's you're, gone, dog. Yeah, dog. You know you're done, you? homie. Who, like, uh, <laughs> we, hey, Take your ass to the lowrider show, who, fool. We don't say nigga in Puente like, yeah, we do. You know what I mean? Now we do. You know what I mean? Me and all my homeboys do. All my little homies talk like that. That's just, it's like. Canine it, talks like that, too. It's a new I generation, dog. Yeah, canine talk like that, too. Everybody in Mexico talks like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? It just, it just is what, up. it oh. is what it is. But how about this, bro? How about this? There's there's some there's some brothers that don't like that, and I get what you're saying. Nobody's gonna tell me what. Oh the no, fuck okay, so look at oh with that. Yeah, but there's well, on, on that note, I got. Uh, Have you ever bumped into a brother that didn't like it? <laughs> yeah, in prison. In prison. Yeah. What well, do you say? What I'm happened? rapping and shit in there, like, hey, uh, you know, with that N word and shit, you know, I'm like, well, but you know, no disrespect, you know, but if you don't like the way I'm rapping, like, you don't have to be standing right here listening to me rap. Nobody invite, I didn't invite you to come listen to me rap, you know? I'm rapping to some other blacks who asked me to rap for them because they heard that I rap and I'm rapping and I'm not gonna change up the way I'm rapping because you're standing right here, though. You know what I mean? And, and yeah, they didn't like it, but I mean, it's like, look, dog, I'm not, I'm not having a conversation with you. I'm rapping one of my songs, you know? And, and that word happens to be a lyric in my song and I'm not gonna fucking, you know what I'm saying? But. What I was gonna say is okay. I have a manager. My manager's name's Ocho, right? I'm from AK. That's our our label, right? Well, I recently got another manager. His name's Big Business. He's a you know big black dude, right? Well, well, he he told me do your thing. You know, I got you. You know, you you, you could say nigga. If you need a pass from the blacks, you got it. You know what I mean? If anybody has anything to say, I'm willing to die behind this shit. You know, I got you, fool. You know, because he says. He told me I could tell you're a real nigga. I know you. You know, I could see you. He's from West Covina. How do you know when you're a real nigga? Because it's just the way you carry yourself. You know, you're not, you don't fake the funk, homie. You know what I mean? Me, I don't fake the funk. Not for no person. You know what I mean? Period. So what about all the real niggas that are real niggas that are niggas, right? And they're not a real nigga, though. What do you mean? What do you mean? (laughs) Yeah. You confused the whole Yeah. Everybody says, all the black dudes all say they real niggas, you know? So, I mean, like, I'm just lost in the definition of what a real nigga is. A real nigga is somebody who bees their self, you know? If you, if you be yourself, if you don't fake the funk, you stay true to your, your beliefs, you know what I mean? You stand on what you stand on, you're a real nigga. What about a solid homie? Is that being a solid homie? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. A solid homie, okay, so what you what you you say a solid homie, your little homie... Okay, say you have somebody, right? You consider him a solid homie. Your little homie will be like, that's a real nigga. Same thing. It's two different terms that mean the same thing. And it just and it just dif- the dif- it differentiates from the person that's saying it, if he's credible or not, right? Exactly. Okay. I can, I can, exactly. I, I can feel that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so, so my new manager, you know, he's like, I told him, look, I'm not going to change up my flow for nobody. A lot of people, a lot of different people were telling me, like, you know, to... to if I could stop, if I could clean up my raps, I'm like, clean up my raps? What do you mean? You want me to stop cussing or whether Like, no, you just, you know, we're trying to get you to refrain, refrain from using the N-word, you know? And who was telling you this? A bunch of different people, producers and, and just different people, you know, that in have the industry. Their, yeah, that in have the industry. input. You and know, they that, felt like it, it wasn't a good look for you? Yeah, you know, they want to give me their input, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I, 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 I appreciate it. You know, I'm always open to constructive criticism, you know what I mean? But... There's certain things that I'm not going to change, you know, because I feel like then I'm... You're not a real nigga. I'm not, yeah, I'm not fucking, I'm selling myself out. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not being who I am. You know what I'm saying? And who you are is a real nigga. Yeah. Okay. Straight up. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. All right, for sure, for sure. All right, well, let's leave that topic alone. Hold on, hold on. There's another thing I want to, I want to, because this is a topic that I've been dying to talk about. Okay, go wrong with it. When I say the word nigga, I'm not using it. I'm not uh, uh, referencing any type of race, of race. You know what I mean? But it is a word used for racial. So. Yeah. So you no, can't change well, the definition. Well, not, not of it. necessarily. You know, the nigga with the e r spelled on it is a derogatory racial term. Yeah. You know what I mean? But with the n i g g a is for a black person. I don't believe so. Okay. I just I believe it's for a male. Or it's like an acquaintance. It's just yeah. a male. Yeah. A I male. Feel like it's different I mean, time. I mean, rap music made it, and I'm not, and I'm not trying to, and I'm not trying to like give you pushback, even though I'm giving you a little bit of pushback. But this is a part of having a conversation, right? No, yeah. You know, having an understanding, brother. Um, 
it's just, I think it's just, it's turned into just hip hop rap music, right? And rap music and hip hop has been a big part of motherfuckers' lives in the hood. Yeah. You know, that's what we feel. That's what we cry to. That's what we drink to. That's what we, you know, a funeral to. You know, that's what we celebrate to. But that's what we, to, that's just it's hip hop. Our, it's our form of expression. Yes, yes. And it's become... And it's become, yeah, it's it's our it's artwork. It's a form of our street expression. And now, as time goes has gone by, now we really really identify with it. Definitely. Is that is that safe to say? I'm yeah, trying to yeah, I'm trying to like definitely. I'm trying to look at both sides, bro. Yeah, definitely. So so when I say the word nigga, I'm referring to a male. Like this weird ass nigga, or like what's up with this nigga? I'm referring to a, this male or that male. Yeah. You know what I mean, just like. When I say bitch, I'm not. If I call somebody a bitch, like, what's up with this bitch? I'm not necessarily to a female. Yeah, I'm not calling her a fucking female dog. I'm calling her a female. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, which they hate. Yeah, you know <laughs> what I mean? but that's what I'm saying. You know, it's a male term. It's a term for a male, or like, or who are you calling over here? Why are you calling that old ass nigga? You know what I mean? It's just, I'm just like here comes it's fucking just me. A, it's just a, a <laughs> you know, it, it's just a, a term for a male. You know what I mean? Period. Yeah, I feel it, bro. I feel it. I feel it. I think your music is. I, I really, you know what? Check it out. Let's be clear again, and let me repeat this again. I get it. I got at you, all right, and I got at you because you had that. You had that one cut popping off. What was that first one you put out that really did good? I'm sorry about that. With lame the, brain. Yeah. Yeah. Is it is it lame brain with the two short beat? Ooh. I want to look it up real quick, bro. Sorry, Don. That's all right. Yeah, and I heard this motherfucker, and I said, "Damn, this fool right here." I was like, "Man, this nigga right here is just different, dog." Exactly. You know, he's different, and um. That nigga over there and that shirt over there is different too. Put the camera on you real quick, fool. That's a real nigga right there. Let me find this song, bro. Let me do these ads real quick then. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, do the ads real quick. Let me do the ads. Find the song. Let me do the ads real quick. Thank you, thank you. Let me do these. Do them. Yo, 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 so big love to Apish, hey, you turn mine off, you turn mine off, so big love to Apish OG, you can cop all these amazing, amazing uh, flavors at of Apish OG at OG Nation in the city of Maywood, so come get your flower and edibles at OG Nation, it's a one-stop shop for all your cannabis needs, so follow them on Instagram at Apish underscore OG, that's at Apish underscore OG, so if you're in need of any jewelry, or cash loans. My personal jeweler, D. Leo, the jeweler, has multiple companies who approve financing for his jewelry. Let's say you want jewelry and you want to pay monthly. Well, they use one of their finance companies. They send him the payment and you get the jewelry. That easy. If you're low on cash and you need some money, they are even offering up to 5K loans, no credit check, and you get three months to pay it back with 0% interest, all right? There's no loan in the world that does that, literally. No loan, unless you know some fucking ballers, all right? So for any questions, please feel free to reach out to him on Instagram, and that's d.leothejeweler. And I'll say it again, that's d.leothejeweler, all right? Prepare for blast off and embark on an interdimensional journey of self-discovery and exploration like never before, all right? Introducing the exclusive Rick and Morty interdimensional gummies, your passport to inner realms of consciousness. Unlock your mind's eye and allow your senses to finally come alive without strings that strain our perception of the world. With Rick and Morty gummies, you can experience all of that and more. I'm telling you, one cube is all you need. So make sure you give these dudes a follow on IG, and that's at Rick and Morty gummies official. And that is at Rick and Morty gummies official and tap in with their telegram channel for more info the link is in their bio so hoodstocks is also brought to you by dying to see me dying to see me is a podcast that we love and support shout out to matt monahue he'll be getting on and <laughs> he'll be getting ozempic soon so please go to youtube and hit that subscribe button baby <laughs> I think it. I think it is lame brain, bro. That's the one that everybody was. They had yeah, on the TikTok and cracking. shit. Yeah, Ooh, it was lame brain, and then I got on the war zone, and then I got on the on the violation. 
That Man. one's hard. Huh? Ooh, that shit is hard, bro. That shit is dumb hard. I mean, you is got there an iPhone charger right here? Yes, yes, I My do. Shit about to die. Let me get you, big boy. Um, yeah, fucking violation went crazy. Huh? Violation is hard, bro. And so, I mean, is there any? I mean, the homies right now are coming up with the music, bro. I mean, is there anybody? I seen you did that one song with that with that one black dude that was singing. That shit is hard too. Yeah. What's that song called? That's my boy right there. That's just called Lifestyle. Who? That shit's hard. I don't think this is plugged in, pop. Okay. Hey, hey, you got something? What? You Perico coming or what? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's about to be fucking with that food. Dog, dog. that's about to be fire, dog. dog. Is that on, dog? Uh, no. Hold up. Throw it from underneath. Yeah, that shit's gonna be. Yeah, yeah. I got it right yeah. here, fool. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'll show it to you after. Is it still not working? Oh, that, yep, it's on now. Okay, I don't know. That, that, that thing yeah, is a little funky. Yeah, we shot funky. the video, but I need to go... Me and him shot the video together, but I need to go do a couple scenes by myself before they can start putting oh, it together. Yeah. But that shit, the song, oh, it's yeah, fucking yeah, hard. Bro. Yeah, that's going to go. Bro, how, did that, how, did that come, how did that come together? Hmm? How did that come together okay. with you, G. Perigo? When I, when I met my new manager, right? Yeah. Him and my original manager, they told me, like, look, if you could pick uh, anybody right now that you want to do a song with, who would it be? Anybody, I'm talking Lil Wayne, anybody you want, you know? I'm like, damn, I, I always uh, I always looked up to Lil Wayne, like I always bumped his shit, like, you know what I mean, yeah. when I was young. But if I had to pick right now, I'm like, man, it's a, sh it's a shame Nipsey died, because I would have definitely, yeah, that's for sure. yeah. it's a shame that, that Nipsey died, because I would have definitely yeah. jumped on a uh, track with Nipsey, you know? But dope. since he's passed away, I will have to fuck with G Perico, you know, because I, I, I bump his shit, fool. Yeah. I'm, this is the music that I listen to. Yeah. You know what I mean? When it's me, you know what I mean? I fuck with that fool shit. I fuck with that nigga I think shit. We all so do. Everybody in the that's really hell out there. yeah. I think that's that's what we listen to. Dog. What are you talking about, Mike? Bro, I said that. I think everybody is out there, really out there. I feel like that's what type of music we listen to. You know, that's the type of music I like. So that's I think that's a smart move. Dog. That's so I was like, yeah, I, uh, I'll fuck with G Perico. You know, like I like that fool shit. I would love to do a track with him. So uh, they didn't even say, oh, all right, we're gonna do it. They're just like, oh, okay. You know what I mean? I, I didn't think nothing more of it, you know? Then they were like, boom. Like, two weeks later, they are like, all right, bam, it's paid for. You Jeez. know what I mean? The track, the video, studio session, everything's paid for. We're just waiting for him to get off his tour. He was on that Hot Shot tour. Okay. You know, so I was like, what? They were like, yeah. Then I was like, all right, bet. Like, you know, I was excited. Yeah. Then we was in the studio one night, and they played this beat for me. I was like, oh, this shit's hard. <laughs> yeah, right? So then I, I started flowing, flowing on that shit. Then I was like... After I came out the booth, I was like, that's the one I want Jeep Rico on. You know what I mean? So they fucking, uh, uh, okay, so then there was like, they were like, that one, are you sure you don't want to have a, stu a studio session with them and, you know, come up with something? I'm like, nope, that's the one. Yeah. Fucking went to sleep. Boom. I went home, went to sleep, woke up the next morning. My my manager's like, you ready? And I'm like, ready for what? You know? Sent it to me. It was done. The whole track was done. I was like, what the fuck? They were like, yeah, we sent this shit to G and he fucking sent it back within two hours. Wow. Yeah. That's dope. So he must have felt it then. He said he has a he has a booth on his uh, tour bus and he, they said when he got that shit, he was just like, oh, like, you know, he, okay. he liked it, he enjoyed it. So. <laughs> he like, oh shit, this is an essay right here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit's gonna be fire, dog. Yeah. yeah. Well, shout out to G Perico too, yeah. by the way. One of the realest. Hey, he pulled up to... We shot a video, right? I I, we shot a video at my cousin's house. Yeah. Nothing but all my homies and, and my cousins there. And he pulled up solo bolo by That's himself, right. you know? And, he, right. and then even after the video was done, stood there, kicked it with us. Shout out to G Perico, real yeah. nigga. Yeah. That's no what's cap. up. Yeah. Hey, um, I see, I, I don't know, I hear a little sugar free sometimes in some of your raps. Yeah, a lot of people tell me that. Too. Yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely, sugar free was an influence on me. Definitely. Sugar free is hard. Hell there, yeah, there's, hard. there's a lot. So back to the the, the homies, right? Uh, you know, from our side of the fence, right? There's a lot of homies that are they're doing good, bro. Like the, the music has evolved, right? Yeah. You know, with you and a bunch of the homies, the music has evolved into something that you can really listen to now. Yeah. You know, and don't get it twisted. There was a chosen few back in the day that that you know that was that was decent to listen to. Like there was a. Uh, you know, they, they had a Mr. Shadow, they had a Little One, they had a, a Psycho Realm legend, right? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of who else I thought was uh, decent to listen to. Um, 
I think my list just ended right there. Uh, so it's nice to see the homies elevating their game. But let me ask you this. The homies are elevating their game, right? Is there is there room in the industry or will the doors be open for individuals like yourself to, instead of driving a brand new Honda Accord, bro, to actually have a motherfucking whoop de whoop whoop out there. You feel yeah. me, Lamborghini or something? Yeah. Like real money, right? Okay, so my new manager, right, which is my the, the black dude, when he came in, he told me, because he, he had came up on a lot of money, he was up, right? He told me, I'm willing to invest in you because I see you as the one to actually cross over for, uh, for the Mexicans, you know? Okay. I see you as the one who could actually push his music into the mainstream instead of just being, you know, a Chicano rapper. You're going to be seen as a rapper, you know? Yes. And he, ha he has invested in, like, he paid for that Jeep Rico feature, you know? Like, he... That's tight. So to have people like that believe in me and tell me like you know you could you say whatever you want to say if you want to say nigga say it I got you I'm behind you you know what I mean yeah. me and, and you know the blacks are behind you and we're behind you are gonna be the one to infuse the Mexican and black rap you know what I mean I just blacks I think there's a few homies that that you know think you're just dope so. no yeah I, I mean the homies are gonna be behind me regardless because I'm representing for them you know it, it's the blacks that I have to win their yeah. their uh you know acceptance and not only the blacks but the other races just everybody because if you're a Chicano and you're rapping you're you know you're an essay and you're rapping the you're, homies are you're gonna be accepted by the homies you know you're limited it's the other people that are that you gotta you know, win their favor. Yeah, the whites, the blacks, the Asians, yeah, everybody, yeah, bro. You know, that's, a, that's the only way you're going to be a yeah. successful, successful artist. If you, if you fucking, and anything, comedy too. Bro, we got we got we got comedians that come out here like big like Beeves. I told Beeves, I said, "Hey Beeves, how are you gonna if you're just doing Mexican comedy, bro? How are you gonna appeal to the fucking whites exactly. and everybody else?" Did not tell him that, Casey. Yeah, hundred percent. I told him that. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, Beeves, you putting yourself in a box. You're just doing Mexican see, jokes, bro. And, and that, Who's gonna? Who else is gonna? That's the thing about me is I don't see myself as a Chicano rapper. I see myself as a rapper. Yes. Well, you know yeah. I mean? You don't want to be labeled as a Chicano rap big yeah. rapper because I think Chicano rap. It, that that was a time in history. I mean, in the that's past. why when I rap, I don't okay. And, and when I rap, I don't say my hood. Like you know, I don't oh Puente Trece. You know, I don't say nothing about me. Like you know, I rap my story. I rap about hood shit. I rap about gangster shit. But I in my raps, the things that I say, you could be like, you could rap my song and it'll be about you and your homies. You know what I mean? I'm not specifically res referencing me and my homies. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. Like, you know what I'm saying? That I don't say essay and all that shit too much because why only the essays are going to appeal to it's that It's going to appeal to that, yeah. You know what I mean? And, that, and that's a small margin of the audience. It, and check it out. If you're just, check it out. If you are a Chicano rapper and you are just trying to appeal to a certain audience in Chicanos, right? The homies are treacherous. You know what I mean? Because you know what? For yeah, some reason, yeah. you don't ever get off that chopping block. They just keep you right there just in case you, until you slip up so they can be like, we already got them on the block. Bam, exactly. Motherfuckers okay. are dirty, dog. They don't want to see motherfuckers come up. And let me tell you something. If you were to hear, <laughs> like, if you were to hear my lucky. music, right? If you were to hear my music without knowing what I look like, if you didn't know that I was Mexican. I would think you'd had like a jerry curl, a little wave, homie. <laughs> if you were just listening to my music, you would just fuck with it. You yeah. know what I mean? Bro, you, it sounds legit, bro. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, uh, uh, Question anything that I say or nothing, you would just rock with it. Just keep on going, fool. Just and keep on doing what you're Mando. doing, dog. You're gonna get there, dog. That's Let's Mando. go, baby. Let's That's go. Mando. Let's go. Absolutely. I think it's smooth. I think it's hard. I think the lyrics are good. I think it's fucking just like it's you. It's 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 cr the it, the creative level of your music, your flow, the way you. The, just the way you do it, bro, is... Hey, is, so who wants to hear that Jeep Rico track? Dog, let me. What's are we up? Gonna, are we going to get hit? Are we going to get hit with the... Are we going to get hit with the copyrights? It's not dropped yet. It's not dropped no, it yet? No, it ain't. It ain't dropped yet. So this is an exclusive on Hoodstocks. Exclusive. All right. Well, Let's fuck go. It. On Hoodstocks. Let's go. Put it on the mic, bro. Let's see. I just want to see what y'all think about this. Let's do it. Yeah, fuck yeah. Let's do it to it. It's Rowdy Bags. Give it up, give it up. 
give it up and give it to me. Ooh, we, baby, in my section, acting like a little group. She said she wanna make a movie. Put that camera phone out. She ain't the dick like she knew me. I'm groovy. Rolling through the hood in a Jag G bag. Hate her niggas break their neck when I pass. Make me wanna pull a tech out the stash and blast. Young nigga bust a cap in your ass. Real gross side ride. It ain't shit to me. You pussy niggas don't really wanna get with me. I rip the heat. I fuck around and flip the peak. Show you how to survive and thrive in the streets. And don't talk about it. Be about it. Come through the LP and we'll see about it. You can ask about me. I'm a G about it. A fat Heat, you don't never see me without it. Just thug life, bitch. You know the shit don't stop. Real nigga, so I always come out on top. They always asking me, Rowdy, when you gon' drop? It's gon' be great, just wait. You know that shit gon' lie. Give it up, give it up, and give it to me. Ooh, we, <laughs> in my session, acting like go. a little group. She said she wanna make a movie. Put that camera phone out. She ain't the dick like she knew me. I'm groovy. Rolling through the hood in a Jag G bag. Hate her niggas break their neck when I pass. Make me wanna pull a tech out the stash and blast young nigga. Bust F-type Jack, black 4G auto Ice skating over potholes, fuck a stash I got it on my lap, if I don't bust first I'm for sure busting back Give it up, give it up, give it to me Swear this shit is playing out like a movie It's the rubber Uzi and my jacuzzi Why the fuck would I front? I got love for the groupie I pull out the camera, let me get some footage Let me get some angles while I'm digging in your pussy Throwing up my hood out the new vibe I ain't hit for another year, now I'm out going crazy Give it up, give it up, and give it to me We yeah. 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 in my section acting like a little groupie She said she wanna make a movie Put that camera phone out She ate the dick like she knew me I'm groovy Rolling through the hood in a Jag G way Hate her niggas break their neck when I pass Make me wanna pull a tech out the stash And blast young nigga bust a cap in your ass the, the, unique, the uniqueness of your voice right there is, is dope. And you know what I hear when I hear that right now, bro? I hear hints of like Easy E, bro. You should do a, like a some type of Easy E remix, like the Creep in the Call. Uh, I forget what I, I forget which album that is, bro. But I would say just the tone of your voice, bro. Ooh, that shit would sound hard, bro. And that shit was fire. Okay, so let me ask you something though. What Chicano rapper do you know could rap like that? None. Nah, nah, you can't could a, what Chicano rapper you know ever could rap I like think that? Pretty dope, though. No. You think he could rap like that? I mean, I, you can't compare because everybody's style is different. But I think, it's a different you know, style, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, it's a different yeah, style. But I hear what you're saying. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. Um, but you're on the right path, though, dog. A hundred percent, bro. And you, your shit is hard, bro. And and we need more creativeness in in from the homies, bro. Yeah. And and I'll say you got that. And there's a lot of other cats that lack that. Like everybody talks about Stilo having style, bro. But really, Have there hasn't, own style, there hasn't been there hasn't yeah, been yeah, no yeah. style no, in the music. Don't, don't get me, don't get it twisted. I fuck with Lil G. I fuck with yeah. Drummer. I fuck with a lot of the uh, you know Chicano rappers, homie. I fuck with their their music. You know what I mean? Because to, to Are me, they that, even considered it, Chicano rapper? Them? No, they're they're rappers. No, they're, they're, they're considered. Just, they're just no, Lil G. Lil G. Lil G is considered a Chicano rapper. Yeah, but but he's hard though. So the the thing is with me is it's about the music. You know what I mean? If if your music is hard, I fuck with it. Period. You know what I mean? I I, I love music. You know what I mean? If, if you guys can't tell, I fucking love music. You know that's why I rap cert like when I was younger, I would rap all these all the songs, songs, yeah, because I just love music, dog. Like that's why. If it wasn't for music, homie, I'd be fuck. I'd be one of them dudes that you wouldn't even be able to talk to. I'd be like, "What's up, dog? Fuck me. Like you know, like yeah. but, but when I was young, I was fucking like. <sighs> I, I was a fool. I wasn't able to talk to people and be normal like this. You know, it's because of the music and the expression. I, I'm able to express myself and get all this shit off my chest that I'm cool, calm, and collective. You know, like I, I'm social. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. You Has know hip hop I mean? saved your life? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. A hundred percent. hundred and thirteen percent. Because you've always had that to lean on. Yeah. You know, because. And it, get you through hard times. It, it, it helped me express myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. It helped. It, 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 if it wasn't for that dog, trust me, homie, I mean, I'd be a whole nother person. You know what I mean? I'd probably be back in prison. You know, it's it's just uh, it definitely saved my life. You know what I mean? And, and uh, I'm happy that people fuck with me. I'm happy that people fuck with my music and my expression. You know what I mean? Because it it just if you if you fuck with my music, then you feel me. You know what I mean? Because that's me, straight up. It, everything I'm rapping in my songs, I'm living it. Trust me. If you know me, like the people that know me, when they hear my next track, they're like. Oh, that shit's sick because they they know like 
that's really me. I'm actually really done. You, you know what I, I you know what I love about it? I want to say this real quick, Kenan. I lo- what I love about it when I heard your music cuz I said, "Damn." You know, someone that 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 looks like us, right? Yeah. That we, that we resemble each other, right? Bald heads, tattoos from the same side of the fence. And that is spitting something that's dope. You know, regardless if you like the N-word or not, right? Yeah. You know, you hear his music and his music is fucking dope. dope. The lyrics are dope. I mean, it's it's really, really clever, really like genius type of lyrics and wordplay. And you just being able to find those cadences, not find them, just have them, right? Yeah. You know, have those cadences, that delivery, the the the, the, the way you rap in the pockets, bro, is 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 I, is I would say is on a higher level than a lot of cats, bro. Unique, in, re, in regards, because you, you it's, know it's, you the, you are a. a Guy that pays attention to detail, definitely. Because a lot of people they like my music, they don't know what they like about it, you know. And the, everything you just said is the shit that I focus on, you know. Like, yeah, like, you're talking to me, right? Yeah, yeah. No, I pay attention yeah. to detail because I, I love, I love hip hop, bro. And music has gotten me through a lot of hard times, just like you, brother, in life, you know. And so I, I pay attention to the technicality of of the lyrics lyricist right yeah and you're 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 like it's like basketball bro like anybody can play basketball but are you good at it and if you're good at it what are you good at i would say with you you have a real good pick and roll you got a good three-point shot you got like you're you're fucking well-rounded bro and you're and you're and and your precision and i'm not trying to like big you up that, that you don't gas I really feel up. this yeah, bro no, yeah. like yeah I'm not trying to gas you up I just really I hear it and I and I was like oh shit it's we gotta truth. get this full on here dog yeah, you know what I mean truth, that's yeah. it dog simple as that dog you know yeah, I can I do it without the n-word yeah I could but hey this is you and this is how you're doing it so fuck it I fuck with it dog and that's then the right. homies all you know I appreciate you know that, they yeah. all say like damn it's a good homie right there ba 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 whoop whoop bro that's easy math bro yeah you know and I wanna see I wanna see a homie come up bro like come up and and I'm not talking about come up in motherfucking New Mexico with nothing but fucking you know at a car show dog Get that I'm, I'm talking rap about money. all races bro yeah. whites Hell everything yeah. where they're like damn this shit you know yeah. one out day it's gonna center, happen. Dog. It's gonna happen one day. It, it's uh, it's in the works right now. It's in the works. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's, it's in the works. Yeah. yeah. Would you like to take some phone calls? We do live phone calls right here. Yeah. Fuck you yeah. got time for some live phone calls? Yeah. Let's do some live phone calls. You guys want to call in? You guys want to ask the homies some questions? It. Any questions? Yeah. Ain't got to be about rap music. Can be about us. You know, uh, you know, fuck a question that I didn't ask him. Right. Let's uh, let's put this phone line up real quick. And we will get the live phone calls in. Hey, so when when you record music, bro, are you usually like by yourself? You usually like lay down like uh, concepts, or now are you like in like studios and working like with A and R's and shit? Or nah, yeah, I'm definitely in the studio and just with different producers. That look, you got some beats. Let me hear them. Fucking, if I hear a beat I like, I just get it. Most of the time, like in the beginning, I would come to the studio. I have a bunch of flows, like I said, in my head, you know? So when I hear a beat, I'll be like, oh, I got something for that beat, you know? But lately, I've just been making them right then and there. Like, Damn. yeah, it's just been pretty tight. That's dope. Let's get this call right here, guys. It's like genius level shit right there, dog. Hey, you're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Hey, what's up, Lux? How you doing, dog? What's I'm up, doing Rowdy? How y'all doing? Shit, we're doing good. We're going to, who, uh, who we talking to? That's what's up. It's Sneak from Hurley Street. I'm Wednesday, homie. Oh, shit. That's right, Pete Gang. Big gang, lady, love, dog. Like you wanted to send a shout out, you know what I mean? Fuck you, lucky. Hey, we love you, homie. <laughs> I love you too, baby. Been waiting for this one, dog. You know what I mean? It's yep. positive, homie. I love that shit, man. I'm just up getting ready for work, dog. I wanted to send my saludos, you know what I mean? And uh, say I appreciate you, homie. Y'all keep the movement going, dog. That's right. That's right. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Tap in with the, with Rowdy Racks, bro. Cop his stuff that so he has online. You know all that good stuff, bro. You know what I mean. Buy his music. Support this homie right here, please, brother. Most definitely. Most definitely. Hey, look. Thank you, homie. I know you're down with the homies, dog. Like you're saying, I, I've been watching all your podcasts, and you like the homies from Puente, dog. I know you do, dog. But we love you, <laughs> homie. Hey, um, yeah. man, one of the homies was telling him, he's like, fool, you just going to jump you in the hood already. I said, no, I told him, I said, hey, fool, just give me a key to the city already, dog. You know, but hey, right. hey, you know what it is, bro? It's it's like this. It's like, 
I, you know, it just, it happens like this. So if there's more homies from a certain hood that come on Hoodstocks, then it is what it is, bro. Give it a year from now. There's going to be another hood that's more homies. You know, it just, yeah, it happens. Yeah. You homies know, are homies, period. Yeah, bro. exactly. You know, it's not being, we're it's not picking bad. and choosing. I mean, the, yeah. Thank you, though, brother. Thank you for calling. Thank you for your hey, positive phone call. Hey, straight up, man. Straight up, look. Hey, I've been watching you from day one, dog. Look at your following now, homie. You came from, you came a long way, dog. Yeah, I'm proud of you. You know what I mean? Both of you, man. Hey, just like my twin said, Drake, we started from the bottom, now we here, baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, I'm always getting confused with that back. dude, bro. They're like... <laughs> Aubrey? <laughs> Aubrey. <laughs> uh, you know, hey, sexy has... Uh, yeah. All right, dog. Thank you for calling, brother. Uh, you're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Yo, what up, Lucky? It's your boy Rooster out here in Tucson. Rooster, what up, dog? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a minute, dog. I've been tapping in, but shit, I most definitely had to call into this one. Fucking the homie, uh, the racks right there. The homie gets down with the with his raps and shit, dog. That's right. I appreciate That's you, Rooster. Yeah, hell yeah, that violation. I, I luck, <coughs> Lucky fucking posted the shit before his interviews and shit. He always posts a little in advance, so. I looked you up on Instagram and I started fucking with the shit and I was like, God damn, <coughs> motherfucker, shit goes. Shit's That's hard, right. huh? You know That's what I'm right. saying? Yeah, it ain't no yeah. basic rap, bro. Yeah, it ain't no yeah, basic exactly. rap. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I fucking followed you on Instagram ASAP. I, once I heard that shit, I was like, oh, okay, boy, fucking. And I, on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I got your shit on my like list. I've been knocking that shit for the last That's week. That's right, fool. I appreciate you. Yeah, much love from Tucson, Arizona, and Lucky man, and Lucky, you still you still not drinking this shit? I've been drank for two months, baby. Look Damn, at this shit, though. Look at this shit, though. Salute to that, man. Look at this shit, though. Salute to that. I'm gonna I'm well, take. Let me stand up real quick so you right see now, the cachetes motherfuck. real quick, though. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Hell yeah, that's that's dope, Lucky for real, dog. That shit's tight, man. I hope I can hop on that train pretty soon. Shit. Mind over matter, doggy. Mind over matter. Yeah, hell yeah. Most if you don't mind, man, the don't alcohol matter. don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, shout out. Much love with Casey right there. Fuck K9. Much what love up? All y'all motherfuckers. K9 wanted to go check on his car to see if they jacked it yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me. <laughs> hey, Rooster. Gone. Love you, hey. baby. Hey, happy Thanksgiving. Okay. Have a, enjoy your family, brother. For you, man. Much love to yours, too, man. Much love to all y'all. Much love, dog. You have a good night. All right, bro. I don't know if I... You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Let's go. Right here. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Oh, the number got lost. In the I'll put it on right now. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Hey, dog. I miss you. And I can't lie. Thank you for watching my back and staying and always find my sight. I miss the stories you used to tell me about your life, about the bitches getting high and about when you did your time. I'll always remember you sold on trim. Whenever you were around, you got my respect. Hey, that's real rap, homie. Ah! <laughs> yes! That's what I'm talking about, dog. That shit was hard, homie. Hey, you know what, bro? Fuck, that shit was tight, dog. <laughs> I love, I, you know what? I love the Goonies, man. I love the callers. Hey, let me put this number back up. Don't quit your, J, your day job, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go right here. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, what's up? Hey, Don. Hey, this is the hey, first time I heard of this for right here. <laughs> you know what? I love the Goonies, man. Hey, wait, wait. What happened? happened? Hey, Hello? Number back up. Hello? All right. You know what? I hung up on that, homie. By Hey, call back right now, my boy. Call back right now. I apologize. Hold on. Let me do this real quick. Hold on, guys. Hitting up the number, guys. Hold on. Hey, you missed it right now. Okay, nice. Huh? You missed it right now. What happened? That shit was fun. This fool fucking was rapping, right? He yeah. called him rapping. He was a white boy rapper. Right? No, nah, he was a nah. fucking, uh, he was doing a Chicano rap fucking verse, bro. <laughs> nah, shit yeah. was fucking hilarious, dog. Yeah. And, it, and it's just the way they, it's the way, I hate to say they, it's the way some of the homies rap, dog. It's the way they rap. I hate to say they like they're aliens, bro. No, <laughs> oh, it's the homies, dog. Yeah. We all got dreams, bro. We all got dreams. Well, how do the homies talk in the county, bro? Honestly, I don't, how do Hello. most of the homies talk in the county? Well, how do they talk? Right, you tell on, us. We got a call. We got yeah. a call. Wait, go ahead. You're on Hoodstocks. Did I hang up on you, dog? Hey, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Did I hang up on you? Yeah, you did. I hey, apologize. Go ahead. He's back. Hey, this is the first time I heard of this fool, dog. This fool got some bars, dog. That's right. No, I appreciate you. Put it down for the raza, dog. That's right. I mean, this who's this? Who are we talking to? Hey, hey, my Tavo, dog. Mucho gusto, fool. Nice to meet you, Tavo. I appreciate you, dog. Hey, yeah, that's right, dog. But when you fool say about your kind of rap, dog. Like, what's up with that fool? It, it, it makes me think 
about that saying, fool, that a Mexican's worst enemy is another Mexican, dog. Like, we're it is. Each it's other true, down. bro. Like, no, it is. That, it is. Bro. It is true, bro. You, bro. you know, no, but, yeah, but, 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 kind of rap. I grew up on that shit. Okay. Okay. And the the homie spitting some cool shit, but that that's that's what I'm just I don't know, you know. Hey, bro. No, well, no. I I hear what you're saying, dog. And trust me, I don't knock it, dog. I don't knock if you're hustling on me and you're making music and, and that's your style of music. By all means, I I don't wish bad on you. I, I wish you I wish you much uh, success, homie. But like I'm saying, I don't bump it, homie. Me personally, I don't bump it. I know a lot of people don't bump it, and I tell you, the other races they do not bump it, dog. Well, let me tell you this. Let me say yeah, this too. I, yeah, I, I, let me, I understand. I understand that, dog. And trust me, bro. Let me add this but to this real like, quick, hey, dog. If, let me if, say this. If, the only way we're gonna get out of this box is by us supporting each other. You not know? if it's garbage. Hey, check it out, bro. Yeah. Let me say this, hey, bro. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. If it's bullshit, it's bullshit, fool. But it's hey, bro. Check it out. Since I've been uh, check it, out. I'm 46, bro. I've been doing this shit since a teenager talking shit about some of this music. Not all of it, but you had some cats, like, and I mentioned them. Like, I mentioned uh, Shadow, Little One, Conejo, he was he was doing his thing, hey, brother. Hey, 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 dog, but you fools don't be putting Misfit Soto on here, dog. What's up with that fool? That Who's that? Like word, brother. Who's that? Misfit hey, Soto? Hey, what do you fools be putting? Yeah, what are you bro, that doing fool, shit on that, your name? That fool was on here the fucking second year of Hoodstocks, bro. Maybe the first year of Hoodstocks. Take it back, bro. Go watch that interview. Hey, hey I've been fucking with you forever, dog. You haven't been fucking I, me for that long because you ain't seen his interview on here, bro. Mr. Soto been on dude, here. Got some bars, bro. He got bars. He can rap. Do you, 100%. Consider, him a, do you consider him a Chicano rapper? Uh, I don't think so, bro. Because he's, he's more of like a, he came up with the underground hip hop shit, you know? Of the yeah. LA underground uh, hip hop. Hey, no, but let, but let me does, tell he, you something though, dog. Like you said, some of them are hard. Okay, so like, let's. You brought up Conejo. Conejo's hard, dog. I listen to his songs, and that fool shit is hard. But even though he's hard, dog, and he has bars, you think the the blacks are bumping that shit? You think the whites are bumping that shit? Do you think that shit's gonna be mainstream? It's not. Even though it's hard, it's Chicano rap. Right? It's just, only the Chicanos are gonna bump it, dog. That's what I'm saying. That fool is yeah. hard, dog, and he, he still it, don't yeah. get the recognition. There's, you know what there, I mean? There's a there. Yeah, it's it's on the way that you look at it. You know what I mean? I've been underground rap my whole life, dog. I fuck with Necro. I fuck with. That's what look I fuck like, with. Like one you know of the homies I mean? was showing me his shit. Right, one of the homies was like, "Dick, you don't listen to this fool. Listen to this shit. It's hard." Fool. I was listening to that shit. That fool says, uh, "I rob the connection. I stay on my toes uh, in every direct." I was like, "Damn, that shit is hard." When I left, I still didn't go bump it in my car because that's not the type of music that I bump, dog. You know what I mean? But even though it is hard, fool, I'm not. I'm not I don't knock them, dog. That yeah, shit was fucking I, hard. I, it's just I, that's yeah. not what I knock. Yeah, at the end of the, yeah. It's about the music. I don't know. I'm a fan of music, dog, and I love it. You know what I mean, dog? I mean, I grew, I love that. I grew up on hip hop, yeah, bro, and hip hop. You know? Hip hop. Exactly. I grew up on hip hop, bro. I didn't grow up on Chicano hip hop. I grew up on hip hop, bro, and that's what we like. That's what we bumping in the backyard boogies, bro. That's what everybody bumping in the backyard boogies. Dog, I grew up on hip hop. I grew up listening to Necro, the fucking um, what, um, Living Legend. And come on, dog, you know? Yeah. I, I love music, dog. So that's what I'm saying. I love that shit that you could bop your head to, dog. But what about this, dog? Chicano, they, could, they, they got some... They got some words that. You, that are I, I know you almost to. fucked up and said bars, homie. <laughs> He's like, they got words. <laughs> yeah, words make music, bro. Hey, thank you for calling, bro. All right, bro. Bye bye. Oh. Fuck. That wasn't a fucking Chicano rap assassin right there, That's dog. Right, yeah. He's like, I'm here to kill all you motherfuckers. No, that was a Chicano rap hip hop ambassador. Hey, that was a hey, that was a Chicano rap suicide bomber right now, dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but for everybody watching, dog. I don't want you to get it fucked up and think that I'm talking shit about Chicano rap or that I'm knocking. I don't. I support. I definitely support my Rasa homie and, and the homies, dog. But like I'm saying, homie, I like I make music, not Chicano music. You know what I mean? Next phone call, Twitch is on, guys. You know, and we love talking shit too, bro. That's what we good at, that dog. Hey, what you got right here, love? Oh yeah, get some. Bro. My bad, bro. That's been my little thing for not smoking. You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Yo, yo, go ahead. Hello. Yes, sir. You're live, baby. Let's go. Hello. I, you, I swear to God, you say that one more time. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that was <a> fucking dick. <laughs> You're on Hoodstocks. Talk to us. Hello. What's up? Well, God damn it, <laughs> homie. When are you going to start puberty, dog? Man, get off your rollerblades. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all right. Who's this it? This is Solo from Phoenix. What's up, Solo? 
You're gonna be oh, solo. Yeah, for, you're gonna be solo for the rest of your life, bro. If you don't fucking take it off a speaker. <laughs> I'm on the Bluetooth. I'm not trucking right now. All right, fool. Well, enjoy yourself, bro. What do you want to say to Rowdy Rex, bro? Say it. No, I like the way he flows. Like everyone's saying, I mean, that whole Chicano rap, I don't know. He's a rapper. So, you know that? It's different, I mean, right? I mean, it's different, bro. Yeah. It's just different. It's That's a different what... genre, bro. It's a different genre. Yeah. Some people like heavy metal. Some people like classic rock. And people can say it's the same thing because you're playing with the same instruments. But it, it's, it's not. not. You're right. It's another genre. It's you're another exactly genre, right. bro. It's hey, genres of music. K9, like what the fuck did you say? Said, hey, shout out to fucking Andre 3000. Yeah. Like hey, we were bumping that shit when it dropped. Hey, we were, uh, we were torture, bumping that shit when torture. it dropped Nucks off right now. I swear to God, Casey, I will slap the silly hat off your head, bro. You bump that fucking music. Andre 3000 <laughs> does some doulo shit right there. Who's listening to flutes on the way? No, we were bumping it, bro. Ain't nobody you want to hear the skin flute or the wooden flute or any type it's of flute a native being blown, flute. Bro. Playing the native flute. That ain't no native flute. That's a motherfucking that's that's the uh, that's yard sale music. flute, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody <laughs> wants. He's on the pookie <laughs> flute. The pookie <laughs> flute. And he's like, I like to wash my clothes at laundromats. Fuck that, dog. You know well, what I mean? well, well, how, so, so you feel very? Uh, how do you feel about Andre Three Thousand? Fuck know? Andre Three Thousand. Let's talk about fucking hey, Miss Pinky fucking up uh, Jenny Six Nine. Hey, I just oh. looked over there to your comment section. It says, "Tell Rowdy to bust a flow." All right. Let's what? Okay, check me out. It goes, um, I'm from the belly of the beast. Grew up in these streets. Every day, more and more, enemies deceased. I ain't Drizzy Drake, and I won't fly you out to Greece. And baby, I don't want the whole thing, but I need a piece. I don't want the whole thing, bitch, I need a third. Started with a quarter thing, moved up to a bird. Put on for the whole gang, so fuck what you heard. How you turned into a killer when you used to be a nerd. When I see that pussy nigga, I'm clowning. He say he got a hundred shots, I got a thousand. What the fuck is a young buck to a stallion? Yo whole necklace ain't even worth my medallion. Pussy nigga, yo whole gang ain't even worth my little homies. You got your chopper in the car, I got it on me. Right here in the MCM, they call me Backpack Shouty. I came here for the beef, it looked like I just came to party. And if it ain't no beef for bitch, then I'ma get it started. You gon' start acting stupid, I'm gon' start acting retarded. All these niggas gang banging, they don't even put their heart in shit. When I go out, I'ma go out like a Spartan. Something like Leonidas, bitch, I'm sick, I got that itis. Everything that I touch, it turns to gold. King Midas, I swear to God, I'm the flyest. You could ask my wifey. <laughs> She says, is you rolling? I said, bitch, I might be. Or I might be loaded. Nice of you to notice. Everything is fine when I'm moving slow motion. Came in with the nine gang deeper than the ocean. Every step on the ladder, we get together. We toasting. Celebration. Remember, I was in a prison cell, masturbating, running out of drugs. I was sicker than a cancer patient. Now I'm richer than a wishing well, gravitating, million-dollar mind. All it takes is imagination. I really wish my dead homies would have had some patience. Seems like we was just in a hurry to rest in peace. If you feel me, you feel me, and you don't question me. I was sick and tired of white devils arresting me. Now you ain't around to see how the Lord's blessing me. If you was around, you'd be standing here next to me. How can I repay you for everything that you said to me? Feels like you still alive cause you could never be dead to me, Tarango. Man, I'll probably never let this pain go. Always laughing and joking, we were sleeping with the same hoes. Motel to motel, thugging all in the same clothes. The good really do die young, that's how the game goes. Learn that, never got a tap before I earn that. Brand new strap, burn that, put bodies on it. Bullet holes in it, license plates, not even on it. Hockey scoring goals, ice skating, swift swerving my opponents. Never heard of quick to murder my opponents. Getting nervous when detectives get to searching through my house. If you were hit or you feel what I'm talking about, I'm probably pleading not guilty, probably taking it to the box in the belly of the beast. Yeah, there we go. Bro. You know what, bro? It, this is entertainment, bro. It's an art form of entertainment. And if somebody is rapping and can and cannot entertain you while rapping not with the beat, bro, then it's not good, bro. And that right there, bro, I just like the way you get into character with your lyrics and everything yeah, like that. Yeah. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. And that was dope, brother. That was yeah. dope. Appreciate that. Um so what do we what do we what do you have in the in the works, bro? What do we have coming up? Okay, we got a mixtape coming up. That's gonna be coming out like very soon. Like if you're tapped in with me, stay tapped in because that shit's gonna be hitting you in the face very soon. The mixtape finna drop, and then after that, the album's coming. So 
within I'm saying within the next 12 months you're gonna be hearing a lot and seeing a lot of Rowdy Rags for sure that's dope brother that's dope man I just wanna you know what bro I, I think we're gonna just end it with that rap you just spit that flow right. you just that spit cool. bro yep. you know what I mean I think that was dope and I think we covered some grounds right here yep. and we will be paying attention brother and then the door is always open for you anything we can do for you doggy we got you you know, I you, you know that's, that's how we do it, bro. Gusto, it's yep. a it's a bridge built, brother. Yep. We bri we build the bridge, and we're not gonna burn the bridge over a bridge fucking gang. n word, bro. You feel me? Yep. Yep. You that's know, right. straight that's up, right. dog. Because a lot of people, you know, we talk about. You know, the homie was just saying how we were shitting on the fucking on other artists or whatever, bro. But it's kind of fun to shit on those old school Chicano rap artists because the shit was hella funny, dog. It was, it was, you know, we, me and the homies used to fucking rap to each other like that, and we all be yeah, busting yeah. up. And we'd be, be laughing, high as fuck. exactly. Yeah. We'd be yeah. high as fuck, dog. You know, exactly. Um, Friendly but I mean, competition but, as a joke. But 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 you know what? I just want to like you know, you gotta you build a bridge right here. We met each other, we sat down, we had a cool conversation, brother. And like I said, you know, um, it's just, I, I wish you nothing but greatness. And I think you're already on your way to that and you don't need that from me, bro. But I just want people to, you know, get behind you and support you, at least the ones that have yeah. been able to tap in on this interview. I appreciate interview. you, homie. Mucho gusto. Yeah, thank you so much. Everybody give it up.